So the GTX 960 came out a couple years ago, but can now be considered as a budget card coming in at around $80 to $100 used on eBay, which I actually picked this up for about $70. So let's see what kind of value and price to performance that we can get in 2018. What's going on guys my name is jd from jd tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss pc passion views guides mods and more so if you're into that sort of thing consider subscribing and checking out the channel all right so to run down some quick specs for this card there is a two gigabyte and four gigabyte card so for the two gigabyte card we have 1024 cuda cores a base clock of 1127 megahertz and a boost clock up to 1178 so those are just some pretty basic specs i'm not going to really go much further into detail about them so let's get into those benchmarks and describe what kind of settings and the benchmarking system that we're using. So for the test bench, we're using an 8600K clocked at 4.8 gigahertz with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3000 megahertz. So we're pretty much giving this card the best scenario possible for the best performance. And also the settings that we're using are called optimal settings. I have a video over here in case you guys don't know what it's about. All right, so basically we'll be turning down the anti-aliasing and turning up some of the other settings so that we'll be getting not too much of a loss in visual quality but way more fps and we'll be using high settings for pretty much everything else so we'll be calling this optimal high settings all right so testing out fortnite we have an average frame rate of 100.1 fps and a one percent low 53.8 fps so pretty much 60 fps and well beyond most of the time making a very smooth and pleasurable experience next we have doom which had an average fps of around 80.1 and a one percent low 59.0 fps so again 60 fps minimum and above all the time looking really good looking really smooth next is metro last light redux and we did the benchmark and we had an average fps of 87.8 and a one percent low 55.7 this was the most surprising benchmark to me because metro last light redux is a very graphically demanding game so this was very surprising to me and seeing near 60 fps and above a 1080p with high setting details that is really impressive and for battlefield one we have an average fps of 56.9 and one percent low 44.5 so it didn't play as well as some of the other games but still was a playable experience and still relatively smooth i mean 56.9 fps and 44.5 aren't too far apart so there wasn't much stuttering or anything it stayed within that realm of fps so overall you could turn down some of those high settings and get more fps out of it but still a pleasurable experience and then the last game we have is PUBG, which had an average fps of 72.4 and a one percent low 44.8 again very nice very smooth very easy to play with and for 1080p is doing a fantastic job with those high setting details and overall very impressive so the 960 plays really well at 1080p high settings but what price should you be paying for this card because this is important if you're not paying the right price for this card it is absolutely not worth it i've seen them up as high as 200 dollars 150 dollars absolutely not worth it not even for the four gigabyte version okay because you can find rx 580s gtx 970s for around 130 to 120 dollars and this if you're getting this for a hundred dollars if you're just paying 20 dollars more they blow this card out of the water and offer way more price to performance than this card now if you can get this for like 70 to 80 dollars that's going to be way better and that's what i would recommend you pay for this card so that's what you should probably keep in mind now if you want to check out more reviews over here you can check those out that would be relative to your new pc build in case you're thinking about that but if you want to help support the channel i do have merch i also have canvas pieces to decorate your setup that look really sweet also have patreon down in the description below for exclusive bonus content and if you're new here guys you want to see more content like this consider subscribing checking out the rest of the channel and thank you all for watching i'll catch you in the next one